Hey guys, it's your HD one here, and I'm, I'm and today I'll be showing you guys how to overclock a pre-built system. This is mainly for people who have like locked BIOS, locked BIOSes. And that this well, locked BIOS means that you can't go into your BIOS and overclock like your CPU and all that stuff. So the first utility I'm going to show you guys is AMD Overdrive. And this is basically if you have an FX series pre-built system, Phenom series pre-built system. Most of your pre-built should be able to should be able to be used um overdrive. Because in FX in the in those in that when those CPUs were released, all the motherboards are overclockable. I'm pretty sure in the FX and Phenom. So you should be able to use AMD overdrive to overclock your CPUs. Oh yeah and just and just to clarify um AMD Overdrive is discontinued, so if you want to download it, you have to go through TextBar and Groove 3D, for example. Next, <clears throat> we have Intel Extreme Utility for people who have the, like the Xeons, most overclockable Xeons, and like let's say you have like a HP or a Dell workstation, you should, I'm pretty sure you should be able to overclock those like on stock voltages using the Intel Extreme Utility. And next. Let's say you have like an Asus pre-built system or like, you know, like an MSI pre-built system. Many times those companies will use their own motherboards, like Asus. Like, for example, in my pre-built system, the Asus M51BC, it basically has a cut-down version of the Asus M5E97 EVO revision 2. It's uh, like a six foot, it's like a pretty good motherboard for like the FX series, like a cheap, like a budget motherboard. Um, 970, for example. So, also, what you have to make sure is that um, your pre-built system, it can't be using like a H61 motherboard, for example, like stuff like that. The motherboard has to be like, you know, overclockable, unless you have like one of those X58, X79 pre-built systems with an overclockable Xeon. And that's like, you know, one of the only exceptions. Guys, if you can't find some of these softwares, um, for example, like the Asus, like, you know, like, let's say you, you have, like, a board, like, a Gigabyte Asus MSI board, but you can't find the overclocking software that, you know, that the company's creating. All you have to do is, sometimes you have to go on the motherboard's website, go on the driver and utility, choose, um, whatever, you know, OS you have, and then you could find this. This is for people who have, like, a cut-down version of, like, for example, I have a cut-down version of this motherboard. I'm pretty sure I have all the VRMs, all that stuff, but I have, like, less USB ports and stuff like that. And, <laughs> strangely enough, it's micro ATX instead of ATX. So, what you have to do is you go on the, the website, support, drivers, you know, Windows 10, and you have to go on the utilities, and then you can find the AI shoot with, um, all that stuff, with all, with the overclocking software and all that. And this basically gives you Turbo Vivo. Okay, so next, all so next, so you should. So these um, so let's say you have like an Asus or MSI system, um, for example, this would be what you're looking for. You're gonna have to search up and see if they have their own overclocking utility. Sometimes it might say it's incompatible, but <coughs> sometimes you have to try it a few times, install like over and over again. Sometimes that would make it work. And finally, if you have a, like a Ryzen system, as long as the board is not an E320 or an E, an e as long as it's not an E320 motherboard, you're all good. Like if it's B350, B450, if it's like one of those HP or Dell's and the um, custom made like a B450 system, you can download this application called the Ryzen Master Utility, and you can overclock your RAM, overclock your CPU, disable cores, you know, all that stuff. Basically. This one is better than AMD Overdrive because a lot of the stuff that you'd be able to do in the BIOS, you could easily do it off here. And Overdrive doesn't even have ha a lot of these features. So yeah, this is the end. So yeah, this is the end. I hope you guys learned that, you know, you may be, like, let's say you want, like, some extra performance. You may be able to overclock your pre-built system and get that, you know, extra performance using any of these applications. So please like and subscribe for future videos and yeah. That's the end.